Are you ready, François? Yeah, I'm ready. Cool. So feel free to go ahead. OK, great. Thanks, uh, Maurice. Uh, hello, everybody. Thanks. <laughs> um, uh, my name is Francois. I'm from the Solidity. Uh, I'm from not Solidity actually. I'm from Remix team. I come from uh, with Liana, which is also from Remix. And uh, today is actually a very special day for us because uh, it's release day. Um, we have been working the last six months on a new version of Remix, and I'm going to show you uh, now. So if you go to remix.ethereum.org, you will see uh, the last version, actually, the version that you love, that you um, know very well. But if you look closely, you can see here there is a very nice electric green uh, button that we took like maybe 15 minutes to find the color. Uh, that say that now you can switch to the new version. And I'm very pleased to show you the new version of Remix. Yeah! As you can see, everything changed. But if you liked Remix before, don't fear, nothing really changed. So basically, the idea was that uh, Remix, is, Remix is used uh, today by people that are really new to uh, Solidity, uh, and also by people that are very well aware of Solidity because it's used every day by the Solidity team uh, in the office here in Berlin. So we had this problem that uh, we, should, we couldn't have everything on the same interface for these broad uh, audiences. So we needed to make it like more modular, like uh, progressive uh, application, so you can learn and use what you need at the time you need it. And that's why we thought about a new, plug more pluggable way of building Remix. And this is what we did, actually. So when you start, you just have uh, the file manager, so you can create file. And you have, by default, the most famous unused smart contract in the world, which is the ballot.sol smart contract. You have, by default, on Remix, and nobody, of course, use it. Uh, but uh, everybody knows it. It's still here. Um, but there is only this by default, so you can just write a uh, smart contract uh, or whatever you want. And if you go here, you have the plugin manager. This is the bare bone of the new interface of Remix. Uh, basically, you can create your own experience on Remix depending on what you really need. And in our case, we are working with a Solidity uh, smart contract. So what we need now is a Solidity compiler. And here, now you have on the left part the Solidity compiler. And you can compile your ballot.sol. Nice. But that's not it. That's not all. Um, until now, on Remix, you could only work with Solidity. And from now on, you can work with Viper. Who has worked with Viper? Already? Only two people. Yeah, I hope with Remix, the new version of Remix, you can work with more. And uh, yeah, so basically, as uh, Remix is now a pluggable, we need permission because everything. So Viper plugin is actually not built inside Remix. It's an iframe that runs outside of Remix. So we need to ensure some uh, permission level so like people don't um, abuse of your uh, ID. And because we're working with Solidity and connection with Ethereum, it has to be very um, careful handled. So here in this case, um, the Viper plugin is actually asking you to manage your uh, file manager. It's actually for uh, being able to know if the, the um, current file is a Viper file. So I just accept it, and I don't want it to come again, so I will remember my choice. OK, great. Uh, so. I didn't raise the, my, uh, the hand because I don't actually know Viper. So what we build is the ballots, uh, the smart contract written in Viper, which is here. So uh, if you have never written some um, Viper before, it looks like this. OK, you have like five seconds to read it. And now you can compile the ballots 
in Viper. OK, great. We have everything that we need, the ABI, the bad code, run by code. You also have LLL uh, compile stuff. Nobody cares. I mean, not a lot of people use it. Sorry. Um, also, yeah, here uh, the compiler is remote. But if you want, you can use it uh, locally. And now that we have compiled our contract, we want to use it. And for that, we'll go to deploy and run transaction. Here we go. Great. Um, yeah, I need to recompile, sorry, with remotes. And please look at the icon. We didn't have that before. And now you have the ballots, and these ballots come from Viper. And um, it's actually what we want to do now is trying to have like more um, pluggable way of uh, having people that want to uh, develop with the tools that they love and they uh, are used to. And if you look here, you have like um, several um, plugins that um, we already have. Um, some of them are developed by the Remix team, like the debugger and or uh, RemixD, but also people from outside of Remix, like uh, Pipeline which is uh, developed by Loredana from a Raiden team, I guess. So um, the idea now for us is that the community uh, use these tools to create their own plugin uh, and improve their uh, workflow on inside Remix and make this environment more uh, usable. We have already some uh, plugins in, uh, in the load. We have a material plugin which is coming, Etherscan, to verify your contracts. Um, a ETH doc that will uh, transform your Solidity documentation into uh, MD documentation, MD file, a bunch of other plugins uh, that are coming. And if you plan to create a plugin, uh, please come to me. And now, what I would like to show you is how to build a plugin under five minutes. So, the idea is that you understand that it's super easy to build uh, a plugin on Remix. So I have here an alarm, uh, a timer. I'll try to uh, do it under five minutes. Uh, and here, as you can see, I have no file, OK? So I'm going to do it from scratch. You ready? Uh, I think I'm ready. So let's do it. So first thing, what I need to do is create an index.html file, because basically, index. Perfect. So basically, uh, the plugin is going to live inside an iframe. So uh, I will cheat, cheat a little bit here because I'm going to use uh, this snippet. And now what I need to do is import uh, the library, the client library for building a plugin. For, for that, I will go to github.com slash ethereum slash remix dash plugin. I train all day writing this stuff. OK, so you can use NPM, of course, but in our case, we want to use just a simple CDN. So I'll just copy past this. OK, so now I, have, um, I can um, have a global variable on my uh, HTML file, and I will use it to create my clients. So uh, the Global variable is called Remix plugin, and I need to create an iframe client. OK, great. So with that, I will have uh, access to the uh, ID from my uh, interface. And now I'll create an async function that will just say hello, typical hello world. And what I need to do now is write, I want to write hello world on the file editor. So for that, I will do clients.call, and then I will target the plugin I want to call. In this case, it's the file manager. And then, <laughs> then, thanks. Uh, I will uh, target a method from this file manager, and this method is called setFile. The third par parameter is the name of the file. So uh, you need to know that, but in Remix, uh, every file starts with browser. So I will call it hello-world.txt. And the final parameter is actually the hello world. It's 
what I'm going to write inside uh, my file manager. And I will await for it. And lastly, I will actually just do that. And here I will, I'm going to switch a file to this. So this is going to just focus uh, the current file, which is inside the editor, to the new file that I just created. OK, let's save it and run npx serve, which is just the basic npx serve, OK? So it's going to run, um, oh yeah, sorry, I need a button, of course, uh, to trigger this. So I'll create a button, click, say hello. Please don't make any mistake. Hello. OK, um, it's not, uh, it doesn't watch, so I need to restart it. OK, so now I'm going to Remix. And in the uh, plugin manager here, I have connect to local plugin. Here I will read, write the name of my plugin. It has to be camel case, so it's going to be hello world. And here is the name that is going to be display, hello world. Um, oh yeah, so um, here communication between iframes should be on the same HTTP uh, version. So here on localhost is going to be HTTP, and here is HTTPS, so I need to um, go to HTTP. As I'm working locally, it's safe, no problem. Um, going, doing that again. Well, am I right on the time? Not sure. Local host. Okay, and here I just um, uh, I need to say if I want to listen on uh, event from Remix because we don't want to flood everybody with events. We need to be very specific about that. Here I don't need any event. Uh, I just say I want it to be on the side panel. Okay, and here I have this magnificent icon of my new plugin that arrived. Okay, and I click and come on. Here I have my hello. Okay, let's try it. It asks me, as I say later, uh, permission for writing on this uh, file manager. I accept. It tells me that it's going to do it. Uh, yes, it did it. And four minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, you can see it's very easy to uh, write a plugin with uh, Remix, of course, this is very light plugin. There is a bunch of uh, other stuff you can do with that. You can use uh, Angular, uh, React, Vue, uh, Lit HTML. Um, we'll try uh, to do an example of uh, Svelte. I'll answer just after that. And uh, yeah, if you go to Remix plugin here, you have all the documentation. Um, that explain how it works. Here you have uh, the current plugin that you can call from the clients. You have file manager, compiler, editor, and uh, more are coming, of course. Uh, now we are going to focus on improving and making much uh, everything inside Remix accessible from uh, those uh, plugins. Um, yeah, and also if you want to check for examples, you just go to the example files, and here inside plugins, you have um, several examples from the very simple one, like just um, hello world, which is just an XML, uh, index.html, to a more complex one uh, with F fdoc, that is actually a webpack plus TypeScript plus little element uh, application. And we'll build more plugins uh, with that so you can uh, use your favorite framework uh, to make uh, your own plugin and build uh, and make your Remix a better place. <laughs> okay, thanks everybody. And I will answer a question now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. So, um, bro, you know, <laughs> we want to change the world, you know? <laughs> like, we know about the politicians and the, the, the mafia game that they are playing. So, under us, you know, nobody is listening. How can we, as, like, a community, as, like, experts of computer science, <laughs> how can we change the world, in your, in your opinion, bro? Uh, maybe you can start by developing a plugin for Remix, for example. This will make the world a better place, I guess. 
<laughs> Any other question? If it's related to Remix, it would be, it would be better, I guess. No, okay. So if you want to um, if you want to build a plugin, please come or to me, or you can find me on Guitar. It's Grand Strumpf. And uh, if you don't know how to write it, it's very actually very easy. Uh, you just write Grand Strumpf. It's actually uh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, everybody knows this guy. Everybody has his way of saying in his language. I'm French. You heard that. So just translate to Grand Strumpf, and you will find me on Guitar. Thank yeah. you. Would it be possible to write a, a Wallet Connect plugin with that? Uh, yeah, I guess it will be, but uh, right now we don't have any, uh, we don't expose any uh, interesting module to make it inter um, to have um, a nice uh, experience with uh, wallets. But uh, yeah, we were thinking about this for this uh, meetup, but we didn't have the time to build an API to make it interesting. But uh, we'll do that for sure. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Any other question? You're answering a last question? Yeah, sure. If someone Do we has. have a last question? No, okay. Oops. No last question. Thank you so much, Francois, yeah, for welcome. this great presentation and Thanks. for challenging ourselves a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. The official part of the session will be finished now. So please feel free to stay here a little bit. And again, thanks so much for coming tonight, even by this beautiful weather outside.